It's me, Jackson, and today I have my first football practice. I am so excited to be part of the team, but before I go, I need to clean these shoes. My friend gave me her old shoes to wear to football practice, and I want to get them all cleaned up. Let's look at all the things I have to clean with. We have a tub of water and some soap, which we'll need a lot of. We also have a towel and sponge. Let's clean. Wow, those shoes were really dirty. They definitely needed to be washed. Now I can dry with the towel. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Jackson. Who? Who? Is that soap and water with you? Hi, Ollie. My friend gave me her shoes. I'm just cleaning them up so I can wear them to football practice. That is a nice friend to share with you. I have a story about another good friend, too. Listen up. Just follow me through. Hoo. Hoo. Follow me through. Oh, hi, friends. It's so good to see you today. I'm Justin the Mailman, and I love delivering the mail. I've got happy birthday cards, get well soon cards, a picture someone drew for their grandma, so many people thinking of others and being a good friend, which reminds me of today's story. Do you want to hear it? 
<laughs> okay, great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus' friends, the disciples. The disciples were about to have a special dinner with Jesus. Wait a minute. Look at their feet. Their feet are super dirty. The disciples' feet are dirty because back then they didn't have cars. They didn't have buses. If people wanted to go somewhere, they had to walk and the roads were very dusty and dirty. So. As you can see, after walking on dusty roads, the disciples' feet were very dirty. That's why they had to wash their feet before they ate dinner. But guess what happened? Someone wanted to wash their feet for them. Can you guess who it was? Jesus! Jesus wanted to wash his friend's feet. Now, why would Jesus, God's son, who is so super special, want to wash his friend's dirty feet? Jesus' friend Peter said, no, Jesus, don't wash my feet. He knew Jesus was so special and didn't think Jesus should be doing a job like washing feet. But Jesus explained that if Peter was going to follow him, he would have to let Jesus wash his feet. So then Peter really wanted Jesus to wash his feet. Jesus loved his friends and put them first. Jesus showed them how they could love others and be a friend like Jesus. Do you think Jesus is a good friend? Yes, Jesus is such a good friend. And Jesus wanted to show us how to be a good friend too. So he washed the disciples' feet. Everyone say, wow, wow. Yes, Jesus is such a good friend and we can be good friends too. We can share our toys. We can let someone else go first on the slide. We can give someone else the biggest cookie. We can help clean up even if we didn't make the mess. Every time we think of others and when we put them first, we are being a good friend like Jesus. And Jesus is the best. I'm so glad Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Hey, Ollie, tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. Go team! So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is a good friend, and he showed us how to be one too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you, who, who. Wow, Jesus washed his disciples' feet to show them how to be a good friend. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it? Get it? Got it! Good. I'm gonna go see if anyone else needs me to wash their shoes before football practice, cause I wanna be a good friend just like Jesus. See you next time, bye. I have called you friends, John 15, 15. I have called you friends, John 15, 15.